Hi, I'm Florian. I'm a Lego designer and I worked on the Lego Adidas Original Superstar. So, in the box you get the Lego Adidas Superstar, which comes with a nice stand and uh, first time of all uh, a shoelace, which is a very new element we put in there. And you can build the shoe from the right side, but we also included additional pieces. So, if you're up for a nice challenge, you can get the additional building instructions online and build the left side of the shoe. So the shoe is something we really took care to reproduce the exact features of a real shoe. We wanted to have the option that you can open it up slightly like a real shoe, fold up the tongue, have a nice look inside, well, and then you close the shoe like a real shoe and lace it up. We have made four stages of the build. First of all, you build the sole, and then second, you build the heel that you click on the sole, and then next up, you build the left and the right flap of the shoe that you also click on and the shell toe and then the tongue that gets put onto as a last step and then folds all together nicely and as the finishing touch you put on the shoelace. So we have made a very special box for this shoe, something we never did before. It's actually a real shoe box in form and size and we really wanted to give it the impression of containing a real shoe, but then with a kind of a twist in design. And uh, the team put a lot of effort in there to make it work with the Lego bricks in there, but then also giving that same feeling that you unbox a shoe, uh, but still with Lego bricks inside and having a very nice wrap for that. I think the biggest challenge that we had with this product was we never did a shoe before, so what's the angle you take on that? And how do you reproduce that with totally static, mostly square bricks? So that was kind of a challenge to try to translate that organic shape into bricks, but then also make it a good building experience and then make it also sturdy so that you can still move parts on it. It needs to be flexible when you put the shoelace in because some people may pull it harder, some people may pull it lower. So to have all these criteria in there, I think that was one of the biggest challenge. We actually had the opportunity to get in contact with the Adidas original design team in the US and it was super good to get the insights and the perspectives they have when they're designing a shoe and what are the key points and key aspects to look out for to recreate these iconic designs. We have uh, two new elements that are very interesting to mention, I think. One of it is the 5x5 new dome element um, that we use uh, for the shell toe in the front and it has in this case printed lines on it, but it will probably be seen in the future in more sets uh, to come. And I think it's a great element, especially for our builders out there to create very nice structures, nice organic shapes, building domes, all kind of these things. And then we have the shoelace. And the shoelace is something we never did before, totally fresh. And I'm already very curious to see what our fans will build and create with that interesting part of the shoe. So all of the decorative elements are actually printed and it starts with the very nice golden tip that you see on the tongue of the shoe. And then when you look in the inside, you actually see also the branding in the inside. And then on the heel on the back, you have the nice Adidas logo with the Adidas font. And then also in gold on the side, you will see the Superstar brand. So when the cooperation with Adidas started, it was kind of obvious um, that I will take on it uh, as I'm wearing the Superstars since ever. I think I started wearing them when I was 16 years old. Growing up in the 90s, it was just such an iconic shoe. Everybody was wearing it. I can remember people modding the shoe, putting the big laces on there uh, in a lot of vibrant colors. So I think doing the shoe with also the option that you can keep the laces off is a very nice homage to that time and the music related to that. So I think the coolest part that we achieved with this product was actually we managed to get this very complicated organic product translated into the LEGO system in the LEGO Deacon A. I think uh, that was definitely the thing we are in the end the most proud of. For everyone who wants to become a LEGO designer, I would always say keep on building and be passionate. I think that's the thing that drives the most of us here.